So a huge number of you watched this short that I made where we have silver crystals growing on a copper penny. And I think it's just a cool experiment, but a lot of you wanna know more about the chemistry behind it. And uh, when I'm a chemistry teacher, that's kind of my jam. So in this video, I'm gonna to explain to you the chemistry behind silver crystals growing on a copper penny. Start with some copper pennies. It doesn't matter that these are just copper plated because they still have a copper coating. I'm gonna buff it a little bit just to remove any oxides that have formed. The microscope that I have is an older model, uh, Kayawa dissecting microscope. It's not all that expensive, but the optical quality is actually really nice. Um, and it gives a good magnification for this experiment. I'm adding some water here and then into the water is going to go the silver nitrate. So the silver nitrate contains silver ions and nitrate ions. When I add it to the uh, water, it, the silver nitrate is going to dissolve, it's going to dissociate, and then the silver ions are going to start to make their way into the solution. When they get to the copper, this is where the chemistry happens. The silver, when it meets the copper, is going to steal an electron from the copper, and in doing so, it gets reduced. It turns from positively charged silver ions into neutral silver metal, and then the silver metal forms these crystals that start to grow. In the meantime, the copper, which has had an electron stolen from it, actually has two, two silver ions, you can steal one. The copper then turns into a copper ions. So you might notice that the solution becomes a bit blue green. That's because the copper that's coming off of the penny is turning into copper two plus ions, which have a blue green color. So this reaction can continue as long as there's a supply of silver ions in the solution and copper metal, on the penny, it's gonna stop when one of those two things run out. Silver crystals continue to grow as they, as they pull electrons off of the copper and then the copper leaves the copper metal once its electrons are stolen from it. It's an example of a type of chemical reaction we call a single replacement or single displacement reaction. It's also an example of a redox reaction, a reduction oxidation reaction, where we have one species that's reduced and one species that's oxidized also. Watch this video to learn more about redox reactions and why they happen. Hopefully this helps you to understand what's going on in this uh, chemistry experiment. Uh, I'm Ruben Mahaffey and thanks for watching.